welcome to another morning so today we'll try to explore some of the small uh, spring lakes and just uh, ponds that uh, lay around the river in this valley there is a little one that Tuva is just getting over to so yeah let's check it out there it is what do you think about it? Too shallow. Too shallow? I don't think that there's any fish here, but we can go around and have a look. But not too optimistic. Very little water in this one. Well, it has been water here at some point. But right now it doesn't have any connection to the river at all. Super shallow. Try to find something else. Okay, that was a miss. That was a miss. Let's check out next. Place. It's part of exploration though. Sometimes you miss and sometimes you hit. It's kind of what makes it a little cool. Sure. Okay, next one. Looks like this looks better. A family of swans. Out there. It's just super shallow, most of it. Cannot really see why a fish would swim around when there is so so far to any shelter. I don't see any fish. Let's keep moving. See something here. We don't know if it's a fish or not. If it is a fish, it's ridiculously big. But uh, I'm not sure. You can try a cicada in its head and yep. see what happens. Let's do. You want to try it? Rock, paper, scissor. Okay. <laughs> okay. Ready? Yeah. Okay, I win. You win. So it started swimming, so it's definitely a fish. A big one is coming towards. I hope it's not spooked. Oh. It turned. Got poop, maybe? Maybe. Oh, it seems like it. Oh, it's big. Damn. What's up? It's swimming in the way. Yeah. Damn it. Turning again? Turning? Okay. Or maybe just decided they wanted to feed. Maybe. Okay, follow. Okay. See it? Yeah, it landed on top of him and it stopped. You see it? Yeah. But it wasn't good like that it stopped like that. No. Coming, she's coming. Yeah. <gasps> Fabian. <Fabian. laughs> <Shit. laughs> that was so cool. I could hear him take the fly. Yeah, or there was her. a weird way of take. You have you had to move the fly a little bit? Mm. Just oh. a little bit to get his attention. Okay. <clears throat> but then I let it steal for long, long, long until we took it. It looked so large in the water at first. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> ah, it is big. It's big. The thing is that it's, it looks fat. Which I like. It looks healthy. Mm. 
Do you have 5x on or 4x? 4x. 4x, good. It's like a pike. <laughs> like a pike. The way it fights. <laughs> so beautiful. It is. It's big. To be honest, I think it could be my new personal best yeah. fly fly fish. If I get it. It in. seems super, super healthy too. Yeah. Personal best dry Look fly. Look at that! It Look is. On. It's my new personal vest. It is. Oh boy! Oh, oh boy! <laughs> Insane! <laughs> Insane! Look at it! It's so nice. It's so beautiful. Our first fish of the day, man. On the cicada. <laughs> the freaking cicada. <laughs> so beautiful. It's really so beautiful. Okay, we need to get the scale. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> okay, I will go and get the scale and we yeah, will... Yeah, do so. <gasps> Look at that. Look at it. Oh, man. Shit. Ah, I'm happy. <laughs> So allergic to all of this grass, but so happy. <laughs> Sounds like you're, you're crying because you're so blocked. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I will get to that. Wait. Yeah, I'll do so. Do you want to guess? Uh, 3.2? I don't know. I think it's hard to... 3.2 is not a bad guess. I haven't seen that We've many. seen so many small fish lately. Yeah. Maybe I'm influenced. I think, I think it's above 3. But I want it to be bigger, so <laughs> I want to guess 3.4. Okay. <laughs> okay. So 3.4. 3. 4. 3. 3.4. 3.38 or something. 3.4. 3.4. Look at the tail. What a way to start the day. your special cicada pattern? It is. It's the rusty fly cicada. <laughs> and it's almost a little bit rusty soon. <laughs> Maybe in two, three days it will be rusty and it will catch even more fish. That's it. And the leader is um, um, 0 0.19 liter fluorocarbon, which is quite strong, which is good. And then uh, the six weight rod, the Arctic Silver Fauna six weight, yep. which have been working great for us the whole the whole time, and then the line is the Arctic Silver uh, Green Velvet line. That's also super nice because it's uh, it's a little bit difficult to cast it when it's uh, like a headwind or so, because the tip is so light, the tip of the belly, but it makes it land so smoothly, which is. You Super nice. Yeah, you don't spook the fish. Yeah, you don't spook the fish. Uh, so that's perfect. So yeah, that's the setup. That's the setup, and the reel is the. It's actually functioning still. <laughs> the break on this one, the nine weight we have, it's broken, but uh, this one is good. Yep. It's the guideline Vosso reel. 
That's what I use for sea trout fishing back home. Yeah. Works excellent here. And then for um, grass pollen allergy, I use some small <laughs> blue pills. They are not the greatest. I, I would not recommend it because I still uh, sneeze a lot and my nose is totally blocked. But, you sound uh, like a different person. Yeah. But we can get some new pills. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's do so. <laughs> we found another fish that was sitting under this brush. Branch. Branch. Bush. 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 Ah, now I think I see it. Now it's yeah. in front. And I, I think that's bigger than the one that I caught because that one is huge. Yeah, now I see it. Swimming to the left out of the bush. So if you want to have a chance, now is the chance. You should go and you should take this fly. Cicada with a heavier leader. Hold on. Maybe if you can stand there. Now, now it's turning it again. Oh, look at the tail and it swims. I don't think it's spooked. No, it's just eating. Shit. It's huge, Reban. Yeah, it's huge. Um. You can just, the, the tail is just over the water. Yeah, now it's falling. You see it on the camera now. It's right in front there. The thing is that, do you want, yeah. if it takes, yeah. it will go in the branches. So I will be ready. I'll have nothing in my pocket to jump in the water mm -hmm. and save the line. Yeah. But you need to be careful though if it's super yeah, yeah. muddy. Don't be do something stupid. No. And I will empty the put the weight there. Okay, this is your chance. I have to do a That's enough line back I think. Cast. Yeah, back cast. If you don't want to do it, I can do it. I want to do it, yeah, but like, I know. <laughs> how can I, I can't let you keep all the good fish or the big fish just because I'm not as experienced as you, the only way that I can get experience is by trying. Exactly. It's, it's bigger. It is bigger. <laughs> I don't know, now you probably see good in the camera too. It's right here, right in front there. And it has been eating, so, okay. Down, down, down. Nope. Wait, maybe it sees it. No, it doesn't see it. Get it slowly in. But you see, the, l the length is right. Yeah, but the wind is making it. Yeah. And I just split the rod. Yeah. Good. Nah, the wind uh, is not making it. Yeah, I, w let's wait until the wind dies down a little and then make a shot. Find a window. Yeah. I will just do this quite slowly. Yeah. Still. And when you lift, you lift slowly. Yeah. Okay. A little bit less wind now, maybe. More to the right. Ah, wind is coming. Yeah, smart. Smart move to just abort the casting and abort mission. Abort mission. Yeah, need to be smart, not make any stupid decisions. Yeah, I think it's slightly making its way to the left now. Yep. Which is perfect for you. Oh come on, wind! Oh go 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 go! It's going in where the fly has been landing. The tail is above the water. Nah. Try again, but. Now you need to do the same cast as you did in the beginning. Because then the fly landed perfect. Try more to the right, more to the right. There is good. Perfect, perfect. Come on, see it. See it. It sees it. I think so, come slowly. It moves slowly. Yeah, it comes slowly, let's see. Move it a little, maybe. Twitch it a little. Twitch it. Twitch it. No! That fish is enormous. 
Was I too early? What happened? Is it spooked? What's going on? I'm I shaking. think it's booked, it went back. It's enormous! That fish is, it's definitely four kilos. What happened? Why the... <sighs> Wait, it swim out there. It's, it's... I think I might have been a... Stand still, stand still. It's coming around. I think I was a bit too fast. Too early, yeah. It's going, oh, stand still, completely. Maybe move down a little slower. Slowly, 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 slowly. Okay, the fish went first under this branch and now it's actually sitting out there in the shallow. I think it's not too spooked. This time I decided to film with a long lens. And two of us sticked with the cicada for a second shot. Okay, so what happened was that the big fish decided to go out from the, uh, the branch again and this time she put the fly perfect. I had a long lens, I filmed everything and to be honest this fish is so big, it's too shallow for it here. So I just decided to grab the net, I ran out of in the water and I got it. <laughs> so here she is. <laughs> The happiest girl on New Zealand at the moment. And there is A the monster. most unhappy fish <laughs> in New Zealand at the moment. I think we just need to check the weight on him. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Here. It's so big. It's just yeah. so ridiculously big. Four point zero one. So, so it is not four. It's not four. It's two. What? Four point zero one? Yeah. Or four point one. Four point zero one. Then it's three point seven. We tried a couple more lakes and streams, but Tuva could not stop thinking about the previous situation. She thought that she had seen two different fish, meaning that there could be one more fish of the same size in that little lake. We had to walk the extra kilometers to get back and check. And sure enough, there it was. It's also big. It could, you know, if it's fat, Better than the one that you caught. It could potentially be a four kilo fish. Oh, swim. And no. Okay, as you saw, um, it rejected the fly and it immediately got spooked after seeing the fly. Um, Definitely a very, very large fish, so it's a 
expected behavior for a fish, from a fish like that? Are they a hawk, is it? Where? You see a tail? Ah, oh, yeah, I see a tail too. Yeah. I see a tail. Oh. Maybe it wasn't that spooked after all. Anyways, he didn't want to react to the dry fly anymore. He decided to put on a shallow dropper net. But it's long. But it's long. Let's see. Three point thirty five. So three. three. Yeah. Exactly. Hmm. It has the length, but it's skinny, unfortunately. Uh. Let's be uh, quick with it. Yeah. caught all of the big fish that we had seen in that lake and it really felt like a victory for both of us. I for sure could relax knowing that I had gotten a bigger brown trout and dry fly than Webjorn ever has. But now it was time to move on from this little weird lake and it didn't take long until we found a new fish. So we have not given up yet even though it's... I rose again. As you can might understand we just found a fish that is rising Again, rising. Yeah, it's in a spring creek, so... It's because the lake that we're going to is a spring lake. Yeah. Uh, and apparently a lot of water comes out of it and the fish is in the pool here. And it's a large fish in a super nice little pool. <laughs> so let's film it with a long lens. Maybe we get a, a riser too. You can film where it is though. Yeah, two seconds. Let me get it. So it's standing in the blue area over here. I think it's hard to actually ah, see yeah. it. Yeah. But you know that it's there. Yeah, you will see it on the long run. Yeah. Let's do it. So Webern tried quite a few casts on the fish that was rising just behind me. Yeah, yeah. But it was impossible to get. The current is so was so so strange. From here it was almost impossible. I crossed from there very difficult. And it was rising so randomly. It would take like one <laughs> out of I don't know, ten insects. But it would never take the fly and I wouldn't risk it to try to change to 5x because it's only grass in this Too paper. many obstacles for yeah. it to get stuck in. Would only end up with the fish with the fly in his mouth. Yep. Anyways, it's been an incredible day. Yeah. 
one of our best dry fly days ever, I would say. Yeah. Let's head out of the valley. Yeah. It's too much grass here anyways. <laughs> Even though we're a big fish here. Yeah. So, thanks for watching this episode. And um, hit uh, the thumbs up and uh, subscribe. Yeah. And we'll see you on the next adventure. See you. See you.